Hi everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those that don't know, I'm Tina. Hi! Uh, today we are going to do a DIY. Um, what you're going to need is tacky glue, some white glitter, salt and pepper shakers. You, you can find, probably find them at the dollar store. I got these at uh, um, Dollar General. And um, I'm going to be using some ribbon because I'm going to be making these to go on my little purple shelf that I shared with you on how to make my DIY glass shelf. So I'm using purple ribbon to match, but you can use any color ribbon. I was originally going to do use these to put on it, so I mean, you could use anything if you want. So um, I'd already started one, so I'm going to show you how to do the other one. So let's, I'm going to bring you on down so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm just using a regular paintbrush. You know, you can use a craft brush or whatever. Whatever you got a line around, and so here's the um, thingamajiggy. And as you can see, I already did the other one, and just put some paint on that paintbrush, and just lather it on the salt and pepper shaker, and it's gonna put her on on there. This is really easy and really quick, and you know you can use any color glitter you want, but I'm using white. White sparkly pretty stuff. So let me just put that all around. Do some glitter on there. Shake off the excess. Do it some more. Shake off the excess. And just keep going until you got her all covered up. Ain't that pretty? Here's the other one. Okay. Yeah, they're about even. It's not going to matter because the, the ribbon will be covering up the top. There's nothing perfect in this house and neither will these be. So, so later I'll try and put, put that glitter back into this thing. Just put the top back on it and save it for another craft. Now, I got my ribbon and I'm just going to take it. Let's move this out of the way. There, okay. So I'm just going to take it and just bring it right around like that. So I'm just going to measure how much I'm going to need. Yeah, the tacky glue is going to help me a little bit hold that in place. Well, maybe it won't. So, right about my thumbnail. And I always have scissors close at hand. I do want it to go over a little bit, so, so, <clears throat> again, as I did in my DIY of the glass shelves, this is going to be just a quick and easy little craft to do. We make a cute little present, you know, for birthdays, Mother's Day's coming up. I know I would I love getting homemade things from my kids. I know my mom likes it when I make her something. When it comes to moms, you never have to give them anything fancy. If you made it with love, they will love it. So yeah. Tissue. Wipe off my thinner. And we're just gonna carefully wrap that around that salt shaker and try to get it even. Luckily it's not dry yet so we can move it. I 
not quite right. We'll fix it. Oop. Yeah, I might have to redo some of the glitter that I'm touching, but that's okay. Because I'm a touching it with my thinners. Taking it right off. That's okay. I can fix it. I can fix it. There. Yes, I rubbed off most of that glue. That tacky glue. Yeah. It's not going to be perfect. As I have said before, my house, there's nothing in my house that's perfect. You know what I'm going to do? So I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue here. Come on, come out. This glue don't want to cooperate. I'm just going to do that. Let me see what I did. Okay. So I'm going to take my plate again. And I'm going to have to fix this. <clears throat> I probably should have waited for the glue to dry, which I probably, um, see, I probably will do that on the other one, but I'm just gonna just go over it again with some more tacky glue, and I'll have to open this thing up, and just reapply it, reapply it. And like I said, nothing's perfect in this house. Won't be as smooth as the other one, but that's okay. Yeah, it has to put a little bit more on the bottom there. Where my thinners messed it up. Now in that area there, where you can tell they're gathered bent. I have an idea for that. And I'll show you what it is. I'll put this right here. Let's move the glitter. And I have my little trusty uh, thingamajiggy right here next to me. So I'm getting into it. And I got a couple ideas. I mean, I could put one of these purple gems on it. So we'll see how that looks. Or I could put one of these on it. Actually, I think I'd like one of these, one of the pink ones. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So we'll just open this up. I think I'll get one of these big pink ones and just put it right there. There. Isn't that cute? It's not dry yet, so, but put the top on it. go ahead and get started on the next one. I probably should have measured the ribbon out on the one I had out, but oh well. So is life. This one might be a little bit more dry, so it might be a little easier. 
so we'll just do the same thing again. I'll cut it out right there. And we're gonna tack and glue it up again. It hurts my thumb to push on it. <laughs> try it like that. There we go. Don't tip over glitter. <laughs> Ugh, I forgot to put the top on that. That would have been my luck to tip that over. That would have definitely have been my luck. So let's glue this on. I got it completely covered with that tacky glue. Yeah. Okay. Wipe my thinner off. Okay. See if I can get this on without totally messing it up. Helps if I put it more into the camera, not don't it. Time I'm gonna try not to touch the glitter on the bottom. Probably should kind of try to match their heights. That looks good. Okay. I think I have too much on this side, which is perfectly fine. I can cut it off. We'll get a little bit of glue on my scissors, but that's, I'm okay with that. Okay. As long as I didn't do too much of. Yeah. Oh yeah, I messed up that a bit. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Is it all the way around there this time? I might have to put a dollop on there again like I did the other one. So let's do that. There. A dollop of Daisy. Is that going to stay down? And we'll get another pink dot. And we'll put it on that one. It's not quite dry yet, but you know, once it dries, it'll be it'll be good, hopefully. Hopefully I have better luck than I did with the DIY of the glass shells when it came with this tacky glue. But I guess only time will tell. But that's it. Now look really cute on my little shelf. Just gotta let it finish drying. Let's check my glitter. It seems like I did a better job on this one. Not rubbing off the glitter. I didn't I originally had planned on going all the way to the top, but I was like, that may not be a good idea because I don't want any glitter and stuff getting inside my salt and pepper. So I decided to only go about halfway. Yeah. Wouldn't that make a cute little gift? You, know, you can even do like one pink, one blue. You know, for the pepper, make it blue, and for the salt, make it pink. That kind of thing. But yeah. Ugh. Yeah, get that camera. Move back up so I can see ya. Hi. Isn't that cute? And it's perfect on my little, my little shelf. But, uh, yeah, that's it. My little DIY how to make cute little salt and pepper shakers. Very cheap. These are like a dollar. This was like, I think a dollar. You know, the, um, the ribbon, a dollar. I got that at the dollar store. Um, these things, a dollar. You know, or if you decide to use 
just these. Those are a dollar. So, yeah. So, how much would that have been in total? Um, yeah, like one, two, three, four. So, four dollars. Um, you know, well, unless you don't have the tacky glue, then it would be five. So, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very easy, very quick. Um, like I said, perfect gift ideas. Me personally, I'm keeping the mine. I'm going to keep mine. Well, that's it. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Up here, you're going to see the link to the video that where I did the DIY of the glass shelf. Here, you're going to see the five and below haul I did just a couple days ago. And here, you're going to see my picture. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on it. Click, 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 click. Subscribe. You don't want to miss my videos. I post a new one every day. Until next time. Mwah.